you know, in my own case, I did start my career in the kind of private sector, and, and I worked in the Peace Corps, and then and, and, and government, and other things. And um, it's only in looking back that I realize, you know, some of what I'm about to say, right? That's how, you know, retro in retrospect, we're all super smart and calculating everything else. I'm not sure I was. It's easy enough to start with the advice that, you know, do what you're passionate about. But I always kind of, you know, want to hedge that a little bit by saying, think about the value that you can bring to whatever it is you're doing. Um, and I think it's, you know, uh, a couple things. One, it's true for the last 10, 15 years, it'll be certainly more the case that that intersection of public and private sector is going to offer an increasingly large set of opportunities for people to participate because there's a lot of there there uh, as developing countries economies emerge as we think about different models for development uh, there'll be many many opportunities there uh, and contemplating a career there I think as opposed to say 20 years ago doesn't require that you say I'm going to be one thing or the other in fact I think there's going to be increasing permeability you know, the ability to spend time in the private sector in the public sector and at that intersection of the two but I would my advice would be um, what are the skills, what's the value you're going to bring to that undertaking, and how are you going to increase, how are you going to ensure that you're continuing to invest in that value? And sometimes that may be on the business side. What's that kind of business acumen that you're bringing to helping to solve social problems? And it may mean spending time in business or in business school or in organizations that kind of have the resources and the discipline and the incentives and a market-based approach really trying to understand that. Um, and uh, and I'd like to think, you know, you kind of can bring value into it. One is around content. What do you know about that topic, whether it's health or Swaziland or particular project management approaches? So how are you sort of building your own expertise around content, around geographies and the like? And then on the other side, functionally, how are you thinking about, you know, so is it finance? Is it HR? Is it project management? Is it strategy? Is it, you know, all these kind of disciplines are necessary to get stuff done, whether you're in the private sector or the public sector. And it often turns out that that set of things, you kind of get more experience faster in the private sector and in business. So think about investing time doing that early on and again I think there are opportunities for that kind of permeability too between them private sector public sector and back it's easier to start in the private sector uh, because I think that experience is particularly now is valued much more readily and early on in the public sector than vice versa uh, but that again I think these kind of barriers are breaking down and particularly as you know this that juncture expands and people who have spent time in that actually have value to bring to either side of that equation.